Rubbish is a problem. Old insulator pots, broken glass, the debris of progress. But progress is such that even rubbish can be utilized, ground down into essentials and turned back into something useful. Just as the steel maker uses any old iron, the mechanized porcelain industry at this factory in Warrington gets back to dust, if not ashes, in order to make something that's really very new. Raw materials do get a look in. China clay, water, and what the trade calls deflocculating materials, all going into a 12-hour round-and-round mixer that renders them down to dust. This is the technology of producing in automated terms what a potter calls a casting slip, and it's accompanying glazes. As ever, with complicated industrial processes, the outcome is something we take for granted as being something fairly simple. In this case, ceramic tiles. It's this kind of automated technology that's made the tile as popular as wallpaper in the developing world of do-it-yourself. These days, the floor is almost the last place interior decorators, professional or otherwise, want to lay tiles. Tile technology is as varied as anything else in a world dedicated to progress and change. The latest and they hope greatest craze in tile glazing is, or are, mini tiles, which can be patterned together into mosaics. Mosaics you make up yourself once you've sorted out your color preferences. After all, say the makers, the Romans did it themselves, why not us too, now that it's easier? Because what the Romans didn't know about was adhesive backing, to make it nice and easy to stick your mini mosaic tiles almost anywhere. The moral of this tale of tiles being anything the Romans could do, we can do quicker, better, cheaper. But there are some people who don't care.